The capital of India, is New Delhi, located, in the northern part of the country. It was officially declared, as the capital of India, in 1911, during the British colonial rule. The city was designed, by British architect, Edwin Lutyens, and is known, for its wide boulevards and government buildings. New Delhi is also the political, and administrative centre of India, and is home to the President's Palace, and the Parliament House. The city has a rich, history and culture, with many important monuments, and landmarks, such as the Red Fort, Kutub Minar, and Lotus Temple. Number 1. The Red Fort. Also known as the Lal Kila, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, located in the city of New Delhi, it was built, by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan, in the mid-17th century, as the main residence, of the Mughal royal family. The fort, is constructed of red sandstone, and is an iconic symbol, of India's rich history and culture. The fort complex, is spread over an area, of 254.67 acres, and has many important buildings, such as the Divan I Am, Divan I Kars, Rang Mahal, Kars Mahal, Moti Masjid, and Hayat Bakhsh Bar. The fort is also known, for its famous light and sound show, which highlights, the history of the fort, and the Mughals. The Red Fort, is one of the most popular tourist attractions, in New Delhi, attracting millions of visitors every year. Number 2. The Lotus Temple, also known, as the Baha'i House of Worship, is a modern architectural marvel, located in New Delhi, it is shaped like a lotus flower, and is made of white marble. The temple was completed in 1986, and is considered to be, one of the most visited buildings in the world. The Lotus Temple is a Baha'i house of worship, which is open to all, regardless of religion, race or background. The temple, has 27 freestanding marble-clad petals, arranged in groups of three, to form nine sides, the design is inspired, by the lotus flower, a symbol common to many religions. The temple, has won several architectural awards, and has been featured, in many architectural publications. It is a place of peace, tranquility and serenity, which attracts visitors, from all over the world. It is a must-see attraction in New Delhi. Number 3. The Kutub Minar, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and a towering brick minaret, located in New Delhi. It is the tallest minaret in the world, made of bricks, standing at 73 meters. The tower, was built by Kutbuddin Abak, the first Muslim ruler of Delhi, in the early 13th century. The Kutub Minar is an architectural masterpiece, that showcases the skill, of medieval Indian builders. The tower has five stories, each marked by a projecting balcony, and is decorated, with intricate carvings and inscriptions. The tower, also has a spiral staircase, of 379 steps, leading to the top. The Kutub Minar complex, also includes, several other monuments, such as the Kuvat ul Islam Mosque, the Alay Darwaza, the Alay Minar, and the Iron Pillar. Number 4. The Jama Masjid. Known as the Friday Mosque, it is one of the largest, and most famous mosques in India. The mosque was built, by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan, between 1644 and 1656. The mosque can accommodate, 25,000 worshippers at a time. The mosque is built of red sandstone, and white marble, and is an example of Mughal architecture. The mosque has three gateways, four towers, and two 40-meter high minarets, constructed of alternating vertical strips, of red sandstone and white marble. The central prayer hall, is reached, by a flight of 39 steps. The mosque has three domes, the central, one being the highest. The Jama Masjid is an active mosque, and open for visitors, it is a great place, to experience the Islamic culture, history, and architecture. Number 5. India Gate. It is a war memorial, located in the heart of New Delhi, it was built, in memory of Indian soldiers, 
who died during World War I, and the Afghan Wars. The memorial, is in the form, of a 42-meter-high archway, and is located, at the eastern end of Rajbit, a ceremonial boulevard, in the city. The names, of more than 13,516 Indian soldiers, are inscribed, on the walls of the memorial, who died, in the First World War. The India Gate, is a popular spot for picnics, and a place, where locals and tourists alike, come to relax and enjoy, the greenery. The gate, is also the site, of the annual Republic Day Parade, which is a major national event. Number 6. Raj Ghat. A memorial dedicated to Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation. Located on the banks of the Yamuna River, in New Delhi. It is a simple black marble platform, that marks the spot of his cremation, on January 31, 1948, after his assassination. The memorial, is surrounded by gardens, and a compound, it is a peaceful, and serene place. The memorial is visited, by thousands of people every year, both Indians and foreigners, who come, to pay their respects to the leader, and to learn, more about his life and teachings. The Raj Ghat, is open to the public every day, and there is no entry fee. The place is also known as Gandhi Smriti, it also houses a museum dedicated to the life and work of Mahatma Gandhi. It's an important historical and cultural site to visit in New Delhi. Number 7. Connaught Place. It is a large, commercial and shopping area, located in the heart of New Delhi. It was designed, by British architect Edwin Lutyens, and is known, for its colonial architecture. The area is divided into two circles, the inner and outer circles, with a central park. The inner circle, is home to numerous shops, restaurants, and cafes, while the outer circle, is home to many government offices and banks. Connaught Place, is also a popular spot, for street performers and artists. It's a great place, to explore and experience the local culture, and to shop for souvenirs. It's considered to be, one of the most prominent tourist attractions. Number 8, The National Museum. It is one of the largest, and oldest museums in the country. It was established in 1949, and has a vast collection, of Indian art, artifacts, and manuscripts. The museum, has over 200,000 works of art, covering over 5,000 years, of Indian cultural heritage. The collection includes, rare and important pieces, such as, the ancient Indus Valley civilization artifacts, Indian miniature paintings, sculptures, and textiles. The National Museum, also has a large collection of manuscripts, some of which, date back to the 11th century. The museum regularly hosts, special exhibitions and cultural events. Number 9. Humayun's Tomb. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, located in New Delhi. It was built in the 16th century, as a mausoleum for the Mughal Emperor Humayun. The tomb is considered to be, the first example of Mughal architecture in India, and served as an inspiration, for the later Taj Mahal. It was built by Humyun's wife, Haji Begum, and designed by Persian architect Mirak Mirza Giyas. The tomb is set, in a large garden complex, and is constructed of red sandstone and white marble. The tomb, is one of the most important examples, of Mughal architecture in India. The tomb complex, also includes, several other smaller tombs, including those of Humayun's wife, and other members of the Mughal dynasty. The tomb is a popular tourist, destination and is open to visitors throughout the year. Number 10. Chandi Chalk. It is a historic market in Old Delhi. It is one of the oldest, and busiest markets in the city, known for its street food, spices, and traditional Indian shops. The market is divided into various sections, each selling different items, such as electronics, jewelry, textiles, and books. 
The market is also famous, for its traditional Parathwali Gali for street food lovers, and for its Chandi Chalk Chart, which is a famous street food in Delhi. The market is also home, to several important historical sites, including the Jama Masjid and the Red Fort. It is a popular tourist destination. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for subscribing.